Good morning everyone. We are still on page number 79. The 11th question. Identify the type of tissue in the following. The first one is skin. That is epithelial tissue. The, the proper type squamous epithelium. Bark of the tree. That is cork which is the protective tissue. Bone skeletal tissue which comes under connective tissue. Lining of kidney tubules, that is cuboidal epithelial tissue. Vascular bundles, these are the complex permanent tissue that includes the xylem and the phloem. We come to the 12th question. Name the regions in which parenchyma tissue is present. Now, parenchyma you already know is a simple permanent tissue. It is present in the cortex and pith of stems and roots. It is also present in the mesophyll of leaves. We come to the 13th question now. What is the role of epidermis in plants? Now you all know epidermis is the protective tissue. It is a protective layer for the inner parts of the plants. Now epidermis cells on the aerial parts of the plant. Yes, they often secrete a waxy water resistance layer on their outer surface which provides protection against loss of water, mechanical injury and invasion from parasitic fungi. Now in the roots, these epiderm the epidermis, it helps in the absorption of water. It also regulates transpiration in plants. We come to the 14th question now. How does the cork act as a protective tissue? Now the cork cells, they are dead and they do not have any intercellular spaces between them. The cell walls of the cork, they are coated with a waxy substance called as subarin. Now subarin makes the cell impermeable to water and gases. Now, coke cell, they protect the underlying tissue from loss of water, infection and mechanical injury. We come to the last question, that is the 15th one, complete the table. Now, permanent tissue, it is divided into simple and complex. Simple permanent tissue is further subdivided into parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Complex tissues, they are further subdivided into xylem and phloem. Now on Thursday, I will again take a revision test on chapter 5. That is the fundamental unit of life. If any doubts, do let me know. Thank you.